So what you're looking at there is the new IQ bow sight. And you're seeing that when it is held and used correctly. By centering that black dot inside the green dot, you have what we call retina lock. And the purpose of the sight, I'll let Terry talk to you about that. Well, I, you know, this is one of those things where it's the old dog, new trick kind of thing. And, uh, you know, as a, as a hunter that's been doing, using a, a set of sights for 35, 40 years, when you get something like this, you're a little reluctant maybe to put it into, a, put it into good use. Well, after you start shooting it, and we'll go through some of the specifics here about trying to get this thing lined up and get it sighted in because it's really not that difficult. But I found myself after shooting very, very repetitiously over and over and over that all of a sudden, instead of looking at it and have to focus on it, now all of a sudden I see it out of my peripheral. So instantly you know you're shooting correctly. You know that you're not tarking. You know that you've got the correct anchor point, And that's really what it's all about. It's about not tarking your bow and having the correct anchor point. And that's what this truly does for you. So yeah, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Now we'll talk a little bit about how you get it sighted in. So you install the sight on your bow. And the best thing to do is come to full draw eight, 10, 12 times, get that accurate anchor, get the anchor correct and where it's comfortable to you. Consistent. Consistent I mean, that, anchor. Important. Then look through and if you can't see the green, you're gonna be able to look around and decide whether it needs to go right, left, up or down. Let down, make your adjustments. Here, clockwise is up. On the side of the sight, you can go in there. Clockwise is to the right. Obviously, you go the opposite of that for left or, or for down. And through time, you will eventually get the green and the black to line up when you're at full draw. Once you get it there, continue to draw, make sure it's consistent, and make sure that black dot is centered in the green each and every time you come to full draw. Then what you've done is given yourself a 100% firm anchor point uh, reference point. You'll also know that if you're torquing the bow, because if you're at full draw and you have a grip and you torque it just a little bit, there's no way that that green and black can line up. So, is this going to be used on a 10 yard shot on a doe in a green field? Probably not, because you're going to be consistent enough to make that shot. However, what I've noticed when I'm practicing, I'll come to full draw and if I'm at 40, 50, 60 yards on the range, the first thing I do out of my peripheral is glance. And if that black and green's there, I know that my form is perfect and I know that I'm ready to try that shot. It really is a better mousetrap. And what happens is after you shoot repetitively over and over and over again, it's about, it's about muscle memory. And everybody knows that as an archer, the more you shoot, obviously then in the, in the heated situation, in the heat of the moment, your muscle memory kind of takes over. Well, it's the same exact principle with the IQ sight. All of a sudden, you see that green and black out of your peripheral, you know that you're not tarking your bow, and you also know that you've got a consistent anchor point. And that's the key to setting that thing up originally, is making sure that you're consistent each and every time you anchor, and each and every time you, you got your bow at full draw. So, it's a really, really a unique idea. It's a unique concept, and it's just one other element that keeps you from making a mistake. And the sight is very well constructed. The windage and elevation is very easy to adjust, much like a lot of the different sights on the market. But the real key is having that retina lock. It is a better mousetrap, and if you get it and shoot it, I think you're going to see why we're saying that. Wonderful product for my Cubo sights.